Guys, if you are using the X2, definitely you want to have the air assist. This air assist accessory is very important because it helps to reduce the burn marks and also it helps uh, the laser diode with cutting uh, different materials. So, one of the issues you might encounter when using the air assist is that it tends to heat up quite a lot. Like it becomes really, really, really hot. We had such an issue with our air assist. Unfortunately, we got the remedy for it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your air assist does not have any places that is blocked. Uh, just make sure you blow some air through the hole over there. Also, you want to take your uh, event cables. Make sure there's nothing that is blocking them. You can just quickly blow them through to see whether there's anything blocking them. But the easiest way to remedy this situation is simply to open this cup that we have over here. Oops. Then when you open, guys, you, you can see this fabric that is put in this section. So this fabric, for one reason or another, this is the one that is filtering out the dust that is coming, that is in the air. So with the fabric, uh, it makes it difficult for any dust to get into the air holes and this can affect the functionality of the air assist. So this fabric is quite, quite uh, pressed and quite thick for, for its purpose. And for that reason, it makes it difficult for air to pass through. Remember, the air is supposed to go through the fabric and then go through these vent holes and into the machine. So in case your air, your air assist is heating up for no reason or it's heating up really really quickly, perhaps you just put set up a job then after like a minute or two you find it's really really extremely hot. What you can do to remedy the situation is just to change this fabric. One thing that you can do is simply cut it into half just to reduce the layer thickness then from there, just put it back and then fix it back on your air assist. You can either use this spongy thing that is put there or if you wish, just remove it and then put a thin piece of cotton cloth over here. That's one of the ways that you can remedy the situation. And in case that doesn't work for you, in case that doesn't work for you, which is what happened to us, uh, you have to check the kind of air assist that you have. Remember, when you have the air assist, remember it's configured differently for different regions. So for people in the US, you know your volts. So for instance, uh, guys in the US, the volts are 110 volts. But people in Europe, Africa, and other regions, our volts are usually around 240 volts. So with that said, that means uh, this air assist is going to be overpowered by the amount of power that is coming from a 240 volts socket and that's why it might be heating up. In our case, you can see that our air assist is a 110 volts one, which is meant for people in the US. And since you are not in the US, our power is 240 volts. We have to do something to reduce the amount of power. And the way that we do that is simply by using a step down. So we got our step down over here. So there are different step downs on the market. You can just choose any that you find in your local hardware or even on Amazon. So here's a step down. You can see it converts 220 volts to 110 volts. That means the amount of power that is coming from our, from our socket is going to be reduced to be 110. And if you remember on the air assist, the air assist had 110 volts. So when this step down is connected, then the, it reduces the amount of power coming from the power source reduces it to 110 volts, which makes it perfect for the air assist. And guys, that is all that you need to do. So just make sure that the vent inside the air assist is not dirty, and if it's dirty, just clean it up. Also, you can reduce the thickness of the fabric that is covering the vents. Apart from that, just make sure that your air assist is the right one for your region. If you're using an air assist for a US region, and you're in a different region, just use a step down to reduce the amount of power and everything will be fine. And guess that's that. So if you guys found this video helpful, let me know in the comment section below. Of course, 
make sure you subscribe to the channel we really appreciate your support and keep building great things like these big things that you see we've made with the x tool.